guys, it's Fanny and welcome back to another mukbang food vlog. Today we are in Little Tokyo and we're just gonna explore Little Tokyo all over again. There's a lot of people here today so the lines are really long but we're gonna try to see what type of food we can scavenge today in Little Tokyo. But before you guys continue watching, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and turn on those post notifications because you know, they'll really, really, really help me out. Also, today my friend Yui is here with us so uh, yeah, he's, he's gonna be joining us on this food vlog. Say hi, Yui. So we picked up two little snacks from Mitsuru Cafe. This one is um, the fry siu mai. And then here we have our dongles. The total was uh, $10? Yeah, $10. <laughs> so it was like $2.50 each. How is that? Mm. Oh, this one's really good. This one's always my favorite. It literally tastes like a fry siu mai. Lots of porky flavors. Okay, let's try the dongo now. <laughs> it's very chewy and soft, and there's like a sweet glaze around it. It's oh, Yui's no. turn to try the dongo. Oh no! Oh! No. oh. It's stuck. The first time I saw Dango was actually in the anime. What do, what anime was that? Clonad. So I was like, oh, I wonder how a Dango tastes like. <laughs> I've never watched Clonad. Hmm. I only watched a little bit of Clonad. I don't think I got four. Oh my god, look at that line. That's crazy. Oh, all for like an anime store. <laughs> okay guys, we are here at Kura Revolving Sushi. So yeah, we're starting off with salmon here. And then we also order salmon toro. I haven't been here in a really long time, but it's pretty cool because like, you know, you can just kind of pick up the sushi as they pass by. There's not that many sushis on the conductor right now, but you can also order on the screen as well. A Texan roll. Texan roll, what is a Texan roll? You guys put like barbecue on there. <laughs> Do you eat ginger? Yes. Okay. Ginger, ginger. I'll put some on yours because I eat my ginger a little bit weird. I like to like soak the soy sauce on my ginger, so maybe you do not like that. So let's try this. This is the seared salmon, yeah. I think. Seared salmon. Seared salmon. Mm -hmm. Spread some of the rice onto the other one. Mm. I think it's pretty good. It tastes like the the seared flavors. <laughs> this salmon looks a little bit suspicious. <laughs> mm hmm. It's a bit suspicious, huh? Oh, seven. It's like like market sushi salmon. It's not bad. It's not I like great. Right? Uh, mm -hmm. The sushi there is like, it was like super good. I think Tokyo Central has pretty good sushi too. I like their salmon there. Mm. This is a lot better than the regular salmon. Yeah. 
I think it's the almond. Yeah, it it makes it taste more fatty. It's like kind of like tricking your brain, mm -hmm. <laughs> like like you're eating a good salmon. <laughs> I don't I don't like squid in general. I love just like um squid cake. I think that's pretty good. Like you know fish cake, squid cake. I've never tried this. What is that? Didn't we just eat that or no? I don't think so. What is this called? Uh, a berry salmon with uh, miso cream cheese. Oh. A berry salmon with miso cream cheese. Oi. There's like a just a very tiny speck of cream cheese on here. Mm. Mm, this is good. This one is a good one. <laughs> it's nice and fatty. Yeah. This is how salmon should taste like. And time for the toro. They only give you one piece of toro. Yeah. This is also good. Hopefully, it's actually good. Mmm. Oh, that's pretty good. I literally just kind of dissolved. But you know the best toro I had? It's actually the place you recommended me when I went in Texas, Uchiko. Oh, yeah. Uchi oh Uchiko my god. So good. Oh, like, yeah. yay. I literally had a food wars moment. I'm not kidding. When I, like, the tour was expensive there, though. I don't, I don't remember. It was like, I think it was like $50 for like just like a few slices. But it was so good. Like, I consumed it and everything was bliss. Like, I, I remember I looked up in the ceiling and I heard music playing. I don't know what happened. It, it was so, it was so good. Oh, it's here. And these are our Negi Toros. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Time to take a bite of the Negi Toro. There are some other commercials that actually have people going. This one is the Umami Oil Seared Beef. Okay, we are done eating at the Kura Revolving Sushi. Overall, it was pretty good. I think the total was like $47 and something cents with tax. I think it was like $51 around, around there. It was like $2.95 a plate, so it was pretty decent. Um, I think our favorites is, what was your favorite, Yui? Uh, the salmon, yeah, right? Yeah, salmon with umami, oil. salmon with, with umami oil was his favorite. I really like that one too. I also like the Negi Toro. That one was really good. And the salmon Toro one. So yeah, right now we're gonna go get some okonomiyaki. What's okonomiyaki, Tori? It's like, it's hard to describe. <laughs> it's like something from Hiroshima, Japan. You're like so tall, it's like not even capturing you. <laughs> Okonomiyaki, I remember it to be like noodle, fried yeah, noodle, yeah. Fried, fried noodle, but what do like, they, what do they fry the noodle with? It's, I don't even remember how it's made, <laughs> it's like super good. Okay, noodles. well we're gonna go eat some okonomiyaki, aka fried noodle. <laughs> It's the menu, many different types of ono okonomiyaki. Okay, so now we are at an okonomiyaki place. I don't remember what this place is called. Shinchikuren, Little Tokyo. And we got an okonomiyaki. This one is Hiroshima. The waiter said that there is some squid in here and noodles. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else. Fried is that an is that an eggs. egg on top? Yeah, I think that's top. an egg on top. And green onions. And okonomiyaki sauce. Hey! Pretty good. I like how the noodles 
noodles are crunchy. Mm -hmm. This tastes pretty good actually compared to the one I had in Japan. I tried it once in Japan and I remember it to like taste very seafood, like, like strong squid flavor. Yeah. Is it normally supposed to taste pretty strong squid flavor? Yeah, it's shrimp or squid, yeah. It has that flavor, definitely. I want to try it with the mayonnaise. You want to try it with mayonnaise? Sure. Uh, everything or not everything? Not just everything. Some, okay, just the side. Just Is that too much? <laughs> it's up to you. Ooh, mayonnaise! mayonnaise Fat! <laughs> I think mayonnaise makes everything taste better. That's true. Mmm. Mm mmm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? I think it tastes better with the mayonnaise. <laughs> like not only because it's mayonnaise, but yeah. like I said, like the Q pie mayonnaise, it has like a tangy flavor to it. So I think it adds more dimension. It's good. That's right. Let's go with the mayonnaise. <laughs> okay. I think I would give it an 8 too. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. What would you give Kira? Mmm. I give Kira an 8 too. <laughs> Well, so, not like fish yesterday? not really for like the taste, but more for the experience. Just because I really like to do the revolving sushi, I think it's right. fun. Um, taste alone, Kara would probably be knocked down to more like a six. <laughs> yeah. So normally, this restaurant you would be able to actually cook the okonomiyaki on the grill here, but you know because of the current pandemic. We must eat it on a plastic plate. Okay, we are done eating the okinamiyaki and now we are headed for ice cream. Where's the place called? Uh, salt and Straw. Salt and Straw. I'm not sure what they have there, but we will find out very shortly. Let's try the lavender. honey lavender. Yeah. <laughs> Tastes like flowers. Yeah. <laughs> and this one is the sea salt caramel. Yeah. <laughs> Very sweet. <laughs> okay, I am really thirsty, so we are in a Japanese market right now. I'm just trying to find a drink. This is what I ended up getting. It is some kombucha drink. They didn't really have um, many Japanese drinks there, so hopefully this is decent. It's a little bit sour. Have you ever had <sighs> mm, No, this is the first time. Is it supposed to taste like this? Yeah. It's like, um, tastes like sour soda. Yeah.
Alright guys, this is the last meal of the night. We were at all you can eat Korean barbecue and we waited for like two hours for this place. So hopefully it is quite decent. Um, do you guys wanna say hi? You wanna say hi? Say hi Xiao. Say hi Yui. And my boyfriend's right here, so just say hi to him. <laughs> the corn cheese. Wow. Nice and cheesy. You don't want corn cheese? Cause I'll take it all, Yui. Corn cheese is my favorite. <laughs> the beef belly. Oh, it's not done yet, huh? It's still a bit red. The beef color is pretty good here. What do you think? I think the beef color is pretty good. It's nice and fatty. Mm -hmm. I feel the fat melting in my mouth. Drink some miso soup. Gonna make a samra with some beef belly in there and some kimchi sauce. Also need some rice in here. And then you just eat it. Cheers! <laughs> Another salt wrap, but this time with corn cheese. Yeah, that's weird. Time to eat some pork cheek. It's very fatty. Tastes like a really thick piece of fatty bacon. Yeah. Mm. The pork cheek is pretty good here, huh? Yeah, I think so. So far this place is pretty good. This is pork belly. I actually like the pork shell better than the pork belly. It's pretty good here, right? No. Beef belly is better than the pork chow. Yeah, pork chow and beef belly so far are the winners. It's the beef sirloin. It's pretty good. It's very sweet though. Highly marinated. <laughs> Everybody was completely shook yeah. his last game. Yeah. Let's try the kaibi now. Kaibi is pretty good, but it's a little bit chewy. It's a bit chewy. Oh, yeah, it is. 